Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Roadmap tutorial, we are going to get started with the project creation in the Jira Cloud free version, which is free for up to 10 users, and then how you can enable Jira Roadmap within your projects if it is not enabled by default. So we'll be creating different sort of projects uh, with using Scrum template and Kanban template and see how you can utilize roadmaps in those particular projects and the very basic aspects of the basic roadmaps in Jira. Before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo, an innovative company that builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud, such as Octo a plug and play component management tool to help you structure issues in Jira, release native component versions and track work progress while collaborating across projects. Check the link or description below for more on Octo. Thank you. So let's get started. So to create the project, as I've already explained in the Jira cloud tutorial, you can go ahead and watch it. That's a full tutorial on the Jira cloud version, but creating a project is pretty simple. So I'm on this Jira cloud version. I'll go to the projects drop down and I can click on create project right so simply click on create and because we are working on the software development so just select the template software development and we'll create a scrum project first okay so I'll use this scrum template and if you'll see it will give you a lot of information about this particular template what issue types will be by default available if you choose this template what will be the workflow etc so that's all provided so I'll click on use template and then you have these two types of projects so team managed and company managed so team managed projects are the projects which are specific to a particular team within your organization so teams can manage they they can manage the workflow simplified configuration and if you see the details you will see what all team managed projects provide you okay and then in the company managed projects or company managed setup you will see that it is maintained by the Jira admins okay so if you do not want to go ahead with the company managed project you are a small team and you want just the full-fledged control within your team you go ahead with the team managed Managed project but there are some limitations in that okay so these are some of the features that you will get in the company managed you can get advanced features like advanced roadmap which is pre premium only in team managed you will only get basic roadmaps okay so these are some of the key things you need to remember so let's first go ahead and create a team managed project first okay so I will name this project as roadmap a and I'll say team manager. So we can basically easily recognize these projects, right? So roadmap A, which is team managed, and then the template chosen is Scrum, and this is team managed project, and I'll simply click on create project. So once the project has been created, this is team managed project. You do not need to do anything at all in the team managed project to enable the roadmap. You will see the roadmap is already available here, okay? So if you click on roadmap, it will give you the roadmap view for this particular team managed project and you will see that you are in the team managed project this message will be displayed at the bottom so that shows that you are in the team managed project so this is how team managed project will be created and the roadmap in the team managed project okay so i'll cover the details of the roadmap in few minutes but before that let's go ahead with other type of projects okay so i'll create a few more projects so i'll say company managed project basically i'll say scrum is the template and this time I'll say company managed, okay? And I will say roadmap project B and this is company managed, all right? And then create project. So these are two projects using Scrum template. Now, software development teams also use Kanban. So let's create two of those projects as well. So I'm in the company managed and you will see the roadmap is also available by default in the company managed project. Okay, so you'll see the roadmap. If you click on the roadmap, it will open the roadmap for the company managed project and you'll see you are in the company managed project. Okay, let's create the Kanban projects as well. I'll say Kanban and team managed. So for the Kanban project, you will see the roadmap is available for that as well. And let's create another one, which is the company managed Kanban project. Kanban, use template. And this time I'll say company managed, provide the name, roadmap B, Kanban. And this time it is a compass. So the key gets selected automatically. You will see if you want to change, you can change it here. Okay, create using the default key that has been created. And this is our Kanban project, which is the company managed, right? So roadmap is basically now available by default in any sort of project that you are creating within Jira Cloud. So previously, this was not getting available for some of the projects which were company managed projects. So in case you are struggling to see this particular roadmap, okay? So what exactly you have to do is you, you can go to 
the board say for example you are in the company managed project so previously in the company managed projects it was not getting available okay the roadmap so go to the kanban board in the right hand side click on ellipses go to board settings okay and in the board settings you will see that enable the roadmap right so this in the settings you will see the roadmap so most probably if this particular roadmap is not available or not visible on any of your project you simply have to you know it most probably it is turned off okay so you just have to basically turn it on and then you will see the roadmap will be available so now what we have done here is we have created four type of projects so basically company managed kanban team managed kanban company managed scrum project and team managed scrum project okay now let's go ahead one by one and see what all features are available in the roadmap okay so if i go to the roadmap which is roadmap a team managed project okay the overall layout in all sort of projects for the roadmap will be absolutely similar there is no difference so if this is the team managed project i'll go to the roadmap and in the roadmap interface that's where the actual the big picture or the high level planning starts for a particular project if you are using a team managed within so this particular team managed project what this means is there is a particular team that wants to deliver the piece of item or the work item that they are trying to build within the team and the inter and the dependency to the other team is very minimal and that sort of piece of work can be delivered by the project team itself and that's where the team managed projects are really helpful okay but if it is a project which requires multiple teams to engage and work together that's where you need to go ahead with the company managed projects and go ahead with the advanced roadmap so in the roadmap what you will see is if we talk about the interface here you will see that you can create the epics directly in the roadmap and if you'll see this timeline here right so you have this weeks uh, months and quarters right so uh, you will see if i simply move this here okay so i can change it to weeks or months or two quarters right so in terms of planning i can simply say what uh, see what all planning we will be doing so we'll we'll be creating the epics and then planning accordingly our work but this is how the roadmap will look like in jira cloud and you will see under the settings if i go to the settings there are different settings that are available so which epics you want to you know display all complete or incomplete and then dependencies and progress you want to display so you can do those settings as well and then if i click on today so it will basically target the timeline to the today's day okay so if i'll simply change it to weeks you will see that it is basically resetted uh, resetting it to the today's day okay then i can export this roadmap which will cover how to export the roadmap in future tutorials you, i can share this roadmap after creating it so we'll cover all of it in detail in the upcoming tutorial in the status category if you'll see that you will see different status category to do in progress and done you can filter all of that you can search filter issues from the roadmap directly okay now now this is a brief about how to create different sort of projects and this was important because I want to cover all different sort of possibilities in the roadmap and how you can utilize different projects or the roadmaps within different projects to plan your work whether it's a team managed or the company managed project and make sure the work progresses properly and you are able to track that particular work within the project or within multiple multiple projects easily using the jira roadmaps okay so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll start covering the roadmaps in detail but overall you will see that this is how the roadmaps will look like and it doesn't matter which project you are whether it's kanban or scrum the roadmap screen and the overall functionality will be almost similar in each sort of project right so this is the kanban project which is the company managed you will see exactly same way you can plan your work within roadmap or using roadmap so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching